Hello, this is just a quick review of the Hoover DXC10 TG Condenser Tumble Dryer. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the features of the tumble dryer and then, and then at the end I'll include a short clip of the tumble dryer in use. Um, this is actually my first condenser tumble dryer um, and it actually did take a bit of getting used to. Um, I actually had to spend um, quite a while messing with the settings to get used to it. Um, usually I pick things up straight away but with this it did take a while to get used to it. It's got quite a lot of features for a tumble dryer um, of which I'll go, go into in a minute. So at the top of the dryer you've got your setting wheel here um, and then a, a screen on the right hand side which matches up to whatever you select on the dial. Um, on the inside of the dryer we have um, your lint collection um, which stores and collects your lint here that just fits in nicely supposed to empty that at the end of every cycle. Um, it's quite a nice big size, it's 10 kilograms so you would have no trouble at all um, in fitting your bedding in that. In fact um, it was quite a nice change going from our smaller dryer which isn't a condenser one um, to this one because our smaller one was I think it was like five kilogram and it was a struggle fitting bedding in so whereas this one it's actually quite empty when we don't wash any bedding and we just put um, our other clothes in it's it's really a really good size especially if you had a family. One thing um, I do want to point out is, I don't know if you can see, but lint has actually collected on the inside um, of the dryer and I actually tried to remove it before I filmed this video, um, but it was actually quite a struggle to do and I was unable to do it. Um, I don't know how exactly I'm gonna get that out. Um, it's like literally right underneath the, um, the window of the um, door. Um, so I just thought I would point that out. Um, it's quite a negative, especially after only a few uses for that lint to have built up around the window like it has. So at the bottom of the tumble dryer, um, you have um, the bit where you would need to empty the water. Um, so that just pulls down. Um, when we first got this, um, I actually thought it was broke because it just literally pulls off. I thought it would be on like um, a lever system, but, but no, it literally just pulls off. Um, and then this is what you would pull out um, to empty the water when the water is built up. So just talking through the dials at the top, um, you have an all-in-one setting, um, darks and coloured, whites, cotton, shirts, jeans, synthetics, waterproof or revitalise, um, sports, bed quilt, wool, anti-allergy, extra extra load, anti-odours, and then there's the one touch at the top. If I'm honest, the only two settings I tend to have, have used since getting this is the all-in-one setting and the darks and coloured. Mainly because if you come over to this right-hand side here, you can actually change um, the drying selection um, and best dyeing in selection along with some other features. Um, and it just makes it a little bit quicker. So I tend to just use the darks and coloured setting um, and then change the drying selection to um, the, the, the highest one, which is the one that where it's most dry. So you think there's other settings on it, such as iron dry um, and, and another setting where it leaves them a little bit damp. But I, when I've got my the clothes in there, I would like them all dry. So I tend to just use the darks and coloured and then the highest drying selection. Um, and on the other settings, it doesn't actually let you select um, change the drying selection so that's why I tend to just um, gone with the darks and coloured. So to select the setting you want it's literally as easy as just moving the dial um, clockwise or anti-clockwise they both work. Um, as you can see as soon as you move it um, it beeps and you get the flashing on the right hand side here. Um, the red line indicates which one you've selected um, and it will beep after uh, as you move it through each setting so I've just turned it off now, um, but if I move it on, so it beeps at every single setting that you go through. So as you can see at the moment, I've selected the darks and coloured setting. Um, it's flashing one hour 40 um, for the time remaining and that is for it to be hanger dry. Um, you can change the drying selection just simply by pressing it. Um, and because I've increased it, the time has gone up. And again, if we do that again, it's gone up again slightly in that. So I've just loaded the dryer with some towels that I've just washed. Um, just to um, put it into a bit of perspective, um, our washing machine is seven kilograms and these towels were a struggle to fit in. They fit in, um, but I probably couldn't get much else in there, but you can just see the actual size of this because of the 10K G load. It fits them in, no problem. And I could probably fit some more in there as well. So I've selected the um, appropriate load 
um, for what I'm drying um, and I've actually just moved the drying selection to the highest one. Um, it was on the iron dry setting which is the lowest one here um, but I wanted them fully dry so I'm just to begin um, the cycle I'm just going to press the start button. As you can see, we can have a different sound, and it begins. I don't know that you'll be able to hear me over this, hopefully you will. Um, one thing I will point out as well is it's quite noisy in comparison to our old tumble dryer. Um, our old tumble dryer wasn't a condenser, it was a simple tumble dryer with a vent. Um, and also on our old one, it was just a simple two settings, high or low. Um, and not all these settings that, are, that come on this. Um, so it did take me a while to get used to it, um, but I, I would still recommend it. Um, I think it's great that you don't put a vent out the window um, and then you just empty the water and pot it. Um, so yeah, this, that was the review of the Hoover Tumble Dryer.